Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of SMPDX Season 3. It's been a while. It's been seven months since I've uploaded a video on SMPDX. And that is like fluff Season 2 levels of no videos and a lot has changed since then so i'm gonna emerge from my cave where i've been sat for seven months uh in this boat and head back to spawn town and show you what has changed in smpdx this season uh i must say i am now uh on smpdx again i have not been completely inactive i have been very active on this server over the past uh, month or so and I have been active in between as well and basically what happened was there was a period of about four or five months where the server was completely dead the discord was completely dead no one was playing and we thought we were gonna have to start over again I just sunk my boat but then I was we were talking to Fluff, uh, I was talking to Fluff, and he came up with an idea to reimburse activity, and as you can see, it's working. This is like half 10 a.m. Uh, for British time, and there's three people on, which is like great. There's usually people on now every day, uh, all day really, and it's amazing. So I thought I'm, I'm going to get back into making videos on this server. Uh, because of the activity level stuff will be happening because I sort of lost my steam in with this server and videos and stuff But I've been doing a lot everyone's been doing a lot so I've actually got a new base now and I'm gonna have to tour you around all that done I finished my old base and I'm starting new projects and everything which I'm gonna be showing you guys of course But we have also a lot of new members since I last joined we have animal lover here uh, this is Animal. She goes by Jess. She's very helpful. She's collected me many, many stacks of oak wood, and she lives. Uh, she actually lives over there, in the just up there, in that mountain right there. That's her base. Uh, we have a new member recently called Ranger. He's someone who I go to school with. He's a very good mate, and he's very active as well. He lives near my new base. Uh, and just last night we accepted a guy called the Nexus. He is a regular to. Fluff streams, I played Overwatch with him a bit. And yeah, he's a really nice guy and he'll be active after exams are finished. Speaking of which, that's one of the main reasons why I've been inactive is just the fact that school got really hard, exams got really hard, and I really wanted to concentrate on that so I didn't really have much time to record. Stuff like that. But I have been busy building and stuff on this server since. And I mean, that's a mob farm that Loon made. I believe Loon made it. Loon and Nerd probably. That's been really useful over there. Those that's those chunks there. That's the slime farm. I'm not going to tour around anything specific that I didn't have a hand in doing. I'm sure there are people's videos to help with that. But I'm just going to tour around the stuff that I had a hand in doing. It might be a bit of a longer video. It probably won't end up being a longer video. Just because so much has changed and so much will change. And there will be so many videos. That there's an iron farm by the way that just drops into there. But yeah, we've been we've been very busy here on SMPDX recently, and I thought I'd take this opportunity to record a video and get get with the times and bring everyone who liked this series up to speed and just explain everything and hopefully attract some new people back to this series. But there, that that thing there is a minecart rail that that goes up to my new base. We probably won't take that because it's a bit of a pain. It was just for when uh, connection issues were a thing because this server is very funny with connection and the fact that some days I can't connect at all, some days I can connect and other people can't connect at all. But it's a bit strange. But anyway, what I've been doing around, uh, basically, the plan is we're going to be move, uh, not moving, but we're going to be expanding Spawn Town because uh, Fluff and most people felt that we were very limited in our Spawn Town. So I'm going to just fly up here and you'll be able to see that Spawn Town, three walls, right? There's Nano. And yeah, spawn town three walls. One, two, three. Those walls have been built in. 
back wall especially, Nano and Nerd are on that side, Quirky Loon on that side, my rail on that side, and everyone built in the valley floor. Uh, and then we felt, felt the reason inactivity came is because no one wanted to bother to go up into Amplified Terrain and build up there, and the valley space was limited. Hello, Nano. We'll let him do his thing. So what we've done is, if you can see over there, that's Fluff's Drawbridge. Out the back of there is a new valley where I now live, and it's huge, and there's a big plan for it back there, and I'll explain that when we actually get there. Anyway, so that's... Okay, bye, Nano. That's the plan, and it seems to have worked. Everyone's become more active, and what we're doing now is making sure this old bit of spawn town is as beautiful as we could possibly make it. So that's the current project now, uh, because the plan is over there. Uh, we are going to reset all the chunks behind a certain line, all the chunks south of a certain line, for 1.13 oceans, for when that comes out, which shouldn't be too long. So... Uh, yeah, there's a bedrock line, which we're not allowed to build past. Well, you are allowed to build past it, but it's preferred that you didn't. And that's sort of the plan. Is behind that line, we're going to have a new thing. And also, I forgot to mention, uh, I was the one who built that bedrock line. How did I do that, did you ask? Well, I am an admin on SMPDX now. I've joined Quirky, Luna Nerd in the admin team. I joined them a good couple months ago. I've been helping out. It's amazing, and thank you to them for letting me. And Fluff, very recently, has also become an admin for all his work that he's put in to make the server more active and stuff. He's joined the admin team. So the admin team is growing, and I'm pretty sure it's probably grown to completion at this point, nearly. But, yeah, so I've been working... Me and Nano did this a little bit. Well, I did... Basically, this path used to be floating, and I built supports on it, and then did this little garden bit down here just to fill in space. And uh, Nano's been working very hard on the Drunken Crunken House, which looks amazing. There's a big server map, seats you can sit in, carpets, all sorts, pool table. It's really nice in here, uh, but it's closed, so I should, probably shouldn't come in. And out the back here, he's got a got a beer garden here, which is which is pretty neat. I really like this. German stuff. But yeah, I like this place. It's under this bridge thing. And in there, that is something called Animal Valley. I'll explain that when we get round to it. But look, there's a lovely, lovely beer garden thing here. Which I think is really cool. Nano's done a great job with the Drunken Krunken House. If you didn't know, Krunken House in uh, German is hospital. But anyway, that's not important. But yeah, over here... Nothing's changed at all. It's the exact same. But up here, it has changed a lot. The animals are gone. They've moved into Animal Valley. Over here, the mine has changed. We went for this sort of dwarven kind of architecture. And me, Fluff and Nano beautified this whole area up. I did, I did the build uh, and a bit of the landscaping. Fluff did this inside bit and the elevator. And Nano did a lot of the terraforming and stuff. Except I did this little natural arch. And yeah, it's just about making Spawn Town, the bits that have really been neglected, like this whole bit here, we're going to be doing soon, uh, into something that is looking very complete. So when we move into new Spawn Town, it doesn't feel like uh, we neglected this place, even though you can still build in this place, obviously, and it's still a part of Spawn Town. We just know that people are going to be moving over and making their bases in new places. That rhymed. So, we, yeah, we did that, and we finished this lake, uh, me, Fluff, and uh, Nano once again. Uh, it's an artificial lake, and Nano was very good at making paths around around the place. He's built this little fishing pier up there, his aqueduct, and he's all finished his base. I'll let you watch his videos to see that. Oh, yeah, there's now a path that goes right around the edge of the lake, uh, which is really cool. Nano's very, very good at his paths and incorporating waterfalls into this whole place. It's very nice. And over here, this is what Fluff did, basically. He he was in charge of making this area look nice. And he did a very, very good job. Because it's not too much. But it's also quite good. And then over here is what me and Nano did. We did this little, this little river here that comes down from waterfalls. That come down from uh, my completed cottage area. 
So yeah, I'll show you that. And there's a little waterfall cave back here. But yeah, so I'll show you that now. I'll go up there now. We will be going up Nano Spiral Staircase. So I'm gonna have to apologize for um, spiralness. But yeah, the the idea is with the server, we're making everything horse friendly. So every path is horse friendly, and when you get to a staircase or up to someone's base that isn't horse friendly, uh, the idea is you park your horse up and then you in a stable that is provided. And I've been uh, working on that quite hard. But so far, yeah, the, you can get up. You can't get up and down this far staircase with a horse. But Nano, I think, plans to redo this staircase. I I don't entire. I'm not entirely sure. Um. But yeah, this just goes right up into somewhere you'll probably recognize. It's the connection between the bridge uh, of Nano's base and the path of my base. And yeah, we've Nano's been very working hard on his bridge and stuff, finishing up stuff. But yeah, he's changed all this area up. He made it look a lot nicer. This is now his storage area. The path down to the Skelly Farm is going to get uh, luxuriously redone. And over here we've got... The view out of New Spawn Town is looking very, very nice, very, very complete. We'll go back down to Animal Valley in a bit. But yeah, as you can see down here on this slope, we've done a lot of uh, landscaping and terraforming and making stuff look nice. And over here, we've got just uh, the my old book room where I keep all my fishing hub books. I've now changed this into a public book room. So anyone who wants to can just come and just come and take books until it runs out and I'll shut it down. But yeah, we've been busy. Me and Nano came over here and under sort of my instruction, me and Nano finished my base. Essentially, we made the landscape look very nice around this lake. Um, we completed sort of the entrance to the to the basement and down here is where we really went. How is the plan is is now I don't live here anymore. I'm going to be coming back here every so often, adding bushes and stuff and just making it more and more overgrown over time. And the, just for the sole reason is I don't live any here anymore, so it's probably the good thing to do. It's now a dog house, essentially. But yeah, we finished all this. It's got a garden now with a with a fence round, and this is the waterfall I was talking about. It looks very nice. It comes down from up there to a little pool, and then down to the lake, and then it's I'll, I'll swim up it so you can actually see what it's like up here. Uh, and that is up here. It just comes out from under there and It just splits off in two and then it connects back up with itself And it's all really very nice. This area feels a lot more complete and I'm very happy that I, I managed to complete it with Nano Of course uh, The manor house isn't done. That is never gonna get done. That is a project I don't want to pick up and continue after eight months of not doing it. I will maybe get it done in the future, but probably not Anyway, uh, Cactus Farm Path, I put supports on that. And Animal Valley. Animal Valley is the idea here. It is a valley that animals cannot leave. They cannot physically jump out of. And it looks nice. We, Me and Nano spent ages like terraforming it and making it animal safe but looking good. And putting ponds, boulders and stuff in. And if you just look around all the valley, there are animals everywhere. Llamas, mushrooms, horses, cows, sheep, chickens pigs and we want to get as many different animals in here as possible and just make it look really nice so it fills up and breed everything up. Tadachu lives on an island right in the middle of it and my bridge goes through it and it all looks really very nice. So I'm, I'm glad with how it came along. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So yeah that is just one of those projects that's going to be continuing for a long time. Anyway I'm going to that's what I mean about my connection. It's sometimes a bit iffy. But anyway, we'll fly up. Uh, up, here, up here to this area. Of course, you all know what this area is. And the area, the way you access this is by horse through the nether. And this is fluff space. We're not going to go in there today. But you can just see out the back of there a tower. That is, that is my base. Uh, and I'll be showing you that now. But this is going to be the entrance to New Spawn Town. Well, one of the entrances to New Spawn Town. There's going to be many entrances to New Spawn Town, I assume. But this is one Nano worked on primarily. A cave that goes into a path here, which I think is a really nice path. And it goes onto a rope bridge. And this rope bridge goes directly to my base. So this is going to be New Spawn Town. It expands all around. Basically, my base is sort of like a bit of a bit of an outcrop headland into New Spawn Town. And I live all up here, all up on this base. So as you can see, I have been very, very busy. I've got a half-completed house going on up there. 
and houses everywhere. I'll be showing you this in detail just now, but Nano built this rope bridge, and I really like it. It's very nice. It connects directly up to my base, and it's also going to go down into New Spawn Town another way. And my base is also going to connect into New Spawn Town many other ways. But yeah, this bridge, believe it or not, is horse friendly. Uh, the only thing that isn't horse friendly is my base itself. So, uh, what I've done is I've put horse parking here, just uh, six sets of stables for however many horses you want. And this is uh, the, probably the most recent build I've done. I did this yesterday night uh, when Fluff was streaming. I was talking to him, and yeah, it's done now. It looks pretty simple, but it's very nice. And then up here is a big spiral staircase that takes you up into my base. Uh, I didn't want to make a little one like Nano's. I made one of them at first just so I could get up and down quick, and then when I had more time, went back and redid it. And, I mean, it's it's quite a plain build. There's not too much detail. I'm probably going to have paintings and stuff just to make this area look a bit nicer. But, yeah, that's that done. But this this I've been working really hard on. This is my sort of entrance hall room where you come up in and there's a fireplace with uh, beds and stuff which you can sleep in. And if you didn't know, I'm using, I'm using Shakespearean. Well, I don't really have much to prove that I'm using Shakespearean, but if I turn that off, I'm using... Uh, Shakespearean dialogue and stuff and as you can see it gives like stage directions like enter nano and ear sunset thou may slumber all that sort of stuff but yeah this this um, fireplace the smoke goes up and it comes out of the chimney at the top I worked really hard on this room just making it kind of nice with stuff on shelves looking cool and of course there's windows you can look out of and yeah it's just really nice room it's not it's not a very, very detailed room. That's the thing. Is it's As a detail goes, it's relatively simple. But it looks really nice. It has a really nice effect, I think. And that, basically, you follow the red carpet. And you're into a smaller corridor. Just a bit like that room. And then you just go down and round. And then you're in my storage area, which uh, goes out onto the main place. And we've got, again, paintings and detail. But around here, this is one of my favourite rooms I've ever built. My storage area. Got all of my stuff laid out like so it's very very nice i am a big fan of it and uh just to prove i have been busy that's that's all my stuff <laughs> but anyway uh yeah we got detail over on these things as well we've got a server map which we will jump up to so i can show you and of course there's more windows and stuff you can look out of oh, yes the server map here so this is old spawn town here as you can see that's fluff space that's the path we just came in on which actually i need to update because it's a path. It'll probably do something to update it. Anyway, I'll go around updating maps as and when I do. But as you can see, so this is my base. It expands quite far. There's the bedrock border where we can't build further south of, but Nano is just about to build a hat shop further south of there, but you're allowed to do that if you tell Quirky which chunks to keep. But Ranger lives just there. It's under my base. It's uh, I gave him permission to build there. It's quite a nice little place. But yeah, my base is just going to expand all around this mountain. And just keep expanding. It can go all the way off here as well. Off around there. All the way up there. It's got loads of like possibilities with my base. I ch like It's a really, really good location to build. Because if we, have a, if we go outside, uh, we can go... And I just have a look. All that down there is New Spawn Town. It expands all the way around and back around the side. And it's just got a great view. But yeah, this is sort of the design of my base. It's uh, these sort of builds with paths everywhere, gardens everywhere. Looking nice. But here's my garden. That It's got a great view into New Spawn Town and stuff. Um, Fluff's building something, I don't know. Up there is Loon's Dragon Head, which looks incredible. You'll have to watch Loon's videos for that. But anyway, we'll go. we'll go up. Up into the main bit of the base. Uh, and around random points, by the way, I've just left places where I could just jump off an elytra. Uh, there's that chimney I was talking about, where smoke just comes out of from the fireplace. But yeah, this is my base, so far as it is. There's, like Whenever there's space that I don't use, I plant trees, plant grass, put bushes, make it look nice. But here, here's my bed. <laughs> it is in a little tiny location. That is because above us, there's a path. In front of us there's a path, behind us there's a path, and under us there's a path. So I'm really limited for space in that little bit. But I used it. And there's a little flowery thing there. Uh, in fact, it's getting night time. I'm hoping Animal will sleep, but if not, I'll jump in that bed. 
Oh wait, it's not it's not bedtime yet. Anyway, I'm assuming animals will sleep. But anyway, we'll go down here. This is sort of the main courtyard of my base, if you will. Uh, this has got a tower. This has got my enchanting table up the top of. I actually built this tower at the start of SMPDX Season 3 on a creative server. And so this is going to be my starter house. Never built it until now, but I finally got it done. And it's looking cool. I'm going to have to do the interior of that soon. Uh, there, this tunnel goes down to that rail. We'll probably go down there last. Uh, but yeah. Basically, my base is a thing where there's paths everywhere. This build is half complete. Uh, I still don't know what it's going to house, but it's going to be quite a big build. It's going to take up most of this space. And as you can see, uh, it goes right around, actually. But it just just comes up just short of the southern border. But when this is done, I plan to have builds all all along here and stuff. Just make it look really, really nice and lived in like a like a village on a hill. Or like a city on, a mount, on the top of a mountain, if you will. It looks very, very nice. And I've just fallen right down. Let's jump back up over here and yeah we'll, we'll just do a quick tour of what, I, what I've actually built so I have a knack of putting paths hello creeper boy I don't have any arrows oh no I'll get some of them out of my storage area when I go there next don't let me forget and yeah around about the place we've got paths that go absolutely everywhere I'll show you all the paths but uh, this one this build here is actually one build it kind of looks like two but it's sort of a N shaped build it's got a lovely big window that has a great view of the sunset and no sunrise I mean and it's got melon and pumpkin farms in it so if I open these trap doors we can go up and it's just got a simple one block automatic melon farm and pumpkin farm on either side so this is the pumpkin side we've got uh, pumpions in Shakespearean and over here we have uh, just melons and it's the exact same design for both I didn't put trap doors in this one I got to do that but yeah, it's the exact same design for both. They do the exact same thing. It's just housed in this build. And yeah, that's basically that. This up here, this used to be my old storage area. I completely gutted it and put in furnace arrays. I've actually got to take this stuff down to the storage area. I ran out of coal. That went clean through a stack of coal, that did. And I've still got a lot to cook. All right. We have to take the coal out of here. Oops. Well, I'm going to have to go find some more coal. <laughs> but anyway, up here, this is my fish farm. You know, bog standard fish farm. It's a big build for a fish farm, I know. But it has got upstairs the interior, which is all fishing materials and stuff. Which looks pretty cool. But yeah, just, you know, the drill stand here fishing. All the items go down into hoppers and stuff. But around around the corner over here, this expands out onto like just off the island of my base. Because my base is sort of a headland that goes out, as I said. And this expands off it into the snowy bit, which I still have free reign to build in. Which is great. But it goes over this bridge, which is actually a bridge, not just a path, because it's over quite a deep chasm. But yeah. This build is my memento room, which has random stuff in it. It's got a quirky head, it's got a camera head, which I found and stole from quirky. Uh, but yeah, it's got all this sort of stuff. Carpet, armor stand, you know, you know the drill. Yeah, there's more stuff that's going to be put in here as I want to get more mementos. This just comes out in the snowy area. Of course, I have free reign to expand out that way, because there's nothing out that way at all. Apart from that thing which is Quirky's base. But I can loop right round back to old spawn towns. So I've got loads of space to build. And yeah this just loops back round to where we were. And it's got this little one of the little elytra platform to jump off of. Which is always useful. Uh, but yeah. We'll head back down here. This is going to be a bridge that connects over to Fluff's base. And me and Fluff are going to work on that just as soon as he's done that bit over there. That's going to be another connection to my base, which is cool. But yeah, you can see, I've been working really hard on doing little little uh, areas and stuff. That water actually comes from that water, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we'll go down here now. And this is, as you can see, it's got another garden. This build here, uh, this houses my fish farm storage. So as you can see, I've been busy, busy fishing. And I should have probably left me fishing last night, but I forgot. 
Uh, and yeah, I got loads of stuff and loads of books, lots of mending books and nice stuff and unbreaking books that I need to sort out. And this is where the storage comes. Flick that, it destroys it, and you can get up into the redstone by through here. As you can see, just simple item filters. You know the drill. But yeah, out here, little balcony. That's under the bridges, and you can look down into the canyon down there, and just sort of all around. And yeah, that's sort of basically what that is. Uh, this build doesn't really have too much of an interior, doesn't really need one. But the exterior of it, I think, is fabulous. And over here, this build is my sugarcane farm. And it is it is what you expected it to be. It's a sugarcane farm, and it produces a good amount of sugarcane. It's quite noisy because of the minecarts on the rails, but... Yeah, the observers detect where the sugarcane grows and push the piston out. Simple as. It's stackable uh, horizontally, so you can build it as big as you want. Uh, down here, this goes to a path, which we will run down for the sake of running down. And this, as you can imagine, goes down into New Spawn Town. And that's basically everything else of my... That's my entire base shown to completion. So, yeah, I've done quite a bit, as you can tell. But, yeah, down here, this is where New Spawn Town is going to be. All out over here. As you can see, it's very flat, but there is mountainous areas as well. And as you can see, you can see sort of what I meant when my base is a bit of a headland. It sort of sticks out. Uh, but down here, this is Ranger's base. He's building basically a modern tower. And he hasn't finished it yet, but he's nearing completion on it. It's looking pretty cool. I think so, at least. And yeah, he's been building some cool stuff, Ranger. He's quite good at this modern architecture. And it contrasts nicely to my base. But as you can see, my base is like... It's got levels of elevations at all different places. So I can expand out wherever, really. But yeah, this is new spawn town. This is where people are going to be building. And I can't wait for like 1.13 to roll around so we can really start moving into this place. Well, there's Nano. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, hello. hello. Hi. Hi, Nano. Yes, hi, Nano. But yeah, that's basically everything I really needed to show you to bring you back up to speed on SMPDX. Really. So in the next episode, I will probably be completing or having completed this build. Uh, and I will show you what I'm going to be putting inside it, design the interior, do some building and such, and ex attach it up to the path and things, and finish this terraforming, which I need to finish badly. But yeah, you you know the drill. Uh, thank you all for watching. That is uh, a quick up-to-speed update on SMPDX of a bit of a server tour uh, of what's happening. Loon's bow is magnificent, man. But anyway, yeah, that is my base for what it is as it is at the moment it will expand and I will probably show you the journey of it expanding over time but don't be surprised if I disappear again for a little bit what are you doing there I need to get arrows that's one thing I need I'll do that as I'm signing out but anyway yeah so I hope to do more episodes of this I hope to do more episodes of Lego Lord of the Rings Minecraft Lord of the Rings you know the drill and yeah it's just one of those things where I where well, that's something I need to get back on top of. But now my exams are almost over. I'll be on summer soon. I'll be able to do more, more, more episodes. So it should be good. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you in the next episode, whatever that may be. Uh, see you all next time.